Joseph Bannister is the only pirate in history to have ever fought the British Navy to a standstill. Not one vessel. Two Royal Navy frigates. This is unheard of. Most pirates, they see the British Navy and they ran, they hightailed out. He actually fired the first shot. I was working on another book idea and the phone rang. And when I picked up, the person on the other end of the line didn't introduce himself. He just said to me, do you like pirates? I knew the voice right away. It was John Chatterton, the subject of my previous book, Shadow Divers. The thing that really attracted me to the Golden Fleece was the character of Joseph Bannister. Up until around 1680, Joseph Bannister was a well-respected English gentleman, noble sea captain. And then one day he stole his own ship, the Golden Fleece, and turned pirate. And this was the riskiest thing a human being could do in the 1680s. If you turned pirate and were caught, you were going to hang. But turn he did. And after you learn about who he was and what he did, you look at him in a completely different light. Finding a genuine Golden Age pirate ship is the single rarest thing a person could find underwater, and maybe in all the world. History believed it knew exactly where the Golden Fleece had sunk but the ship was nowhere to be found. The question then became, where was it? Trying to solve those kind of puzzles, those kind of mysteries, it's an irresistible challenge. In treasure hunting, X never marks a spot. It marks a space that you just search that there is nothing there. What started as an interesting idea soon manifested into an all-out obsession. I, I think from the very beginning, I knew we had to think like Bannister would have been thinking. Of course, that was really, for us, the key to finding the wreck. When we uncovered the hull of the Golden Fleece in its entirety, we just took a collective breath. I mean, never had we ever seen anything like that. Just the state of preservation was unbelievable. And the things they started to pull off of their weapons and boarding axes and knives and daggers and beads tell you that you're looking at a Golden Age pirate ship. We pulled up a, a, a dinner bowl that had fossilized porridge in it from some guy's last meal before the battle started. We knew we had it. We just knew because it was the first time that all the pieces of the puzzle fit together perfectly. What it all comes down to is that moment where you say, this is what we've been looking for. We found the golden place. Treasure's not the point. Treasure gets found all the time. A golden age pirate ship, that's once in a lifetime. That's forever.